your dream propelled you into your ministry. What happened? I had a dream encounter where I was in heaven and I saw Jesus. It was one of the only times that I saw Jesus really clear. And I was on an altar, this altar, and he started throwing down what I believe to be fireballs. And he was tossing them over his shoulder and he was smiling at me while he was doing it. He threw down seven fireballs. Now, I was too young to understand what that seven meant, but you look in the Revelation, the book of Revelation, the seven spirits of God refer, refer to the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. So he was baptizing me. That was the dream, baptizing me in the Holy Spirit. My life hasn't been the same. And that's what dream encounters do. Uh, what did you feel when these fireballs were coming at you? An amazing feeling. It didn't hurt. You would think they would hurt, but it was an amazing feeling. It was like ecstasy. That's the only word that describes it. I didn't want it to end. And since that moment, my life has always been going back to that. That's my point of departure for everything. I want to experience Jesus. It made me hungry. I wanted more of God. All dreams and visions, many people don't realize they're coming from God. Why? You know, Job 33, 14 through 16 says this, for God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it in a dream, in a vision of the night. When deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. That's why we don't recognize it. God is speaking to us. He speaks in dark sayings, but we don't recognize it because we're too distracted. What are, what are some of the things that God tells us in dreams? He confirms direction in our lives. He begins to reveal the future. He begins to tell us what our purpose is. Dreams are extremely important. You know, we've seen in science where God has begun to give people all kinds of formulas and all throughout history, God has spoken in dreams. Charles, why do most people miss the interpretation of dreams? God masked truth. He masked the truth in dreams. Proverbs 25, 2 says, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's the glory of kings to search it out. Some people are kind of lazy. They just don't want to invest time to look at and to investigate their dreams. Why is it most believers uh, don't have dreams? Or if they have them, they don't understand them. Or if, or their dreams, they say, oh, it must be demonic. Uh, why is this going on? The enemy likes to distract us. He likes to bring deception. You know, my pastor many years ago said this, you become like what you worship. The more time you spend with God, the more you'll hear his voice. Jesus said in John, my sheep hear my voice and they, and I know my sheep and they know me. So the more that you practice the presence of God, you'll be able to discern who it is that's speaking to you. And so if you discern that when you're awake, you'll discern it when you're asleep.